Hey chickies, what's going on? It's Baron here. If you haven't joined our All Gear Discord, go to the links in the description. If you are new to Star Citizen or haven't joined, use my Star Citizen referral code in the description. But we're going to be talking about the Idrises, the Krakens, and pretty much any sort of capital ship that will have an upgrade kit on it. And, you know, I got sent this by um, a user on Discord by Trading Fire. He's like, I haven't really seen you talk about this. Um, I was like, you know, we, we've sort of touched on it, me and Space. Space mostly because it's been like in Idris videos and Kraken videos that we've done and just general videos. But I think a dedicated topic to this. So thanks to Trading Fire for bringing this up. And I think no one really talks about this because, you know, this is primarily a ship dedicated channel so watch this to the end and I think you'll get a lot out of it so we're gonna read the thread that Zylo has posted this was posted some time ago back in 2019 and it's just gonna be talking about how you upgrade your ships and pretty much how it's gonna work in game so Zylo has gone on to say hi everyone we've received a lot of feedback surrounding the uh, Idris upgrade kit that was made available in December 2018 and wanted to take the time to offer a few clarifications so the insurance side of things in the past insurance was only made available to ship hulls as we've progressed in the development of star citizen we're getting closer to having a need for a system to ensure items as well this is something that we're act still actively working on so we don't have full details to how this system will work just yet but we're eager to lock it all down and share that information with you in the future. I do, however, have an update on the Idris upgrade kit as it currently stands. The kit shows that it has 72 months of insurance, which will be changing to reactive or retroactively updated to LTI in the very near future. So upgrading your ship to the Idris P, we received a lot of feedback surrounding the upgradability of the Idris P and a desire for more information about if the Idris P will be able to be fully matched with an Idris M upgrading in game now before we go on i have mentioned that if you have an idris m or an idris p you can sort of interchange with um the upgrade components from that kit and it will be permanent so just keep that in mind as well we can now confirm that we are planning to eventually add manufacturing shipyards capital ship dealers in game which will help facilitate this conversion for example there will be an opportunity to take your idris p into a major authorized ageist shipyard where they can perform a conversion to an Idris M for a substantial amount of in-game currency. So that's another sort of takeaway from this is just there's going to be a cost for it even though you do have the kit you're still going to have to pay those sort of labor costs and whatnot just you know those sort of in-game fees. So the next one is Idris upgrade kit usability on an Idris M. So in the same way the Idris P can use the rail gun that is present on the Idris M, the Idris M can also make full use of the items included in the upgrade kit. Should you desire to do so, this means you'll be able to attach the beam weapon and the missile turret to your Idris M should you choose to do so. We've encountered a few limitations to utilizing the full upgrade kit on the Idris M, such as missing hard points for the four times PDS turrets, but to facilitate facilitate these fitting. We will be adding those hard points to the Idris M to make the functionality work. So that's just one of the things that they sort of touched on. That's what Xylo posted. But I'm going to say it's the same with the Kraken. So there will be like Drake Interplanetary sort of authorized dealers where you can go in, take your Kraken and then have that upgrade kit put on. And again, it could very well be that you can interchange components on it, get the best of both worlds so that you're not really losing out on anything because some of the points on the Idris upgrade kit are a little bit better than the Idris M and the Idris P. So retrospectively, if you had an Idris M from say a Praetorian pack or you brought one a while ago or you brought one in game or you have an, an M kit, then you could sort of interchange those components. How it's going to work, I don't know. They haven't really gotten into depth with that, but I think this is going to be a really cool in-game feature, and I think we can expect to get a lot from this, especially the shipyards. I don't know if it's going to be like a physicalized shipyard where they'll be out in the open in space, or it will be like a station, and they'll have to go into this um, inside of it. So, like, if you haven't seen the video of where they showed us some stations that will be in Pyro and just around the systems in general, where you can see the capital ships going in, I believe believe it will be something similar to that where they go inside and then people start working on it and these stations will be massive to fit all these capital ships in them but at the same time I feel like the fee that you're going to be paying in game if you have got these ships I'm going to feel that you know you've probably gone to the point
point where you've you're making hundreds of millions or even billions of coin in game which will ultimately mean that you will be very successful within the star citizen universe and throughout this game so this is just one of those little things i wanted to touch on it sort of like rehashes the conversation i would like something about the kraken update as well to see something from that but again this is just a little bit of clarification for you guys so let me know down in the comments what you want to hear about next because i'm in really enjoying this content and you guys are apparently loving it so we'll see you in the verse